Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Pac, and today we're going to be going over some Pokemon news regarding the Pokemon expansion, Isle of Armor. Alright, so information that we know so far, Pokemon Sword and Shield are both getting expansion passes. One is releasing um, June 17th of 2020, and the other one is going to release Fall of 2020, assuming late to... Um, early winter because it takes place in the crown tundra uh, Snow tundra makes sense. So without further ado, let's get started. I am only going over what we know about the first expansion um, Information about that and then I'll slightly touch on uh, this the frozen tundra expansion Start off with the Galarian Slowbro from what I know so far, we get Galarian Slowbro um, with an item in the Isle of Armor, and then we evolve him into Slow King with an item from uh, the Frozen Tundra. So as we get off the train, we see our rival. We see the Dojo with two of the towers, one to the left, one to the right. We see a Toro, Scyther, a Dragion. Uh, we see... We see a bunch of different Pokemon that are just flashing by right here. So, Whale Lord, Kangaskhan, uh, Buffalo, Talonflame. We get this new machine that is called, uh, the, cr what is it called, chat? The Crammer, Crammomatic. And you, you put four different items into the Crammomatic, and it comes out with a new item. Um, some people think this is how we're going to use apricots to get, um, new pokeballs. We can get, um, PowerPoint ups. We might be able to get other rare items. For sure we can. We just don't know what those rare items are called yet. Moving on. We see this old guy. Another rival. Rival again. See that Galarian Slowbro. And we come to this spot right here where we see, um... G maxed Kanto starters. We already get the the Kanto G max Charizard, uh, but now we get the G max Venusaur and Blastoise as well. They both get moves that um, are kind of like G max Wildfire. They do extra damage for four turns um, if you're not a Water or a Grass type. So that's gonna be really cool. I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm a big Blastoise fan. Pog you. Those are the G-Max moves in play right there. Uh, we get Cub Fu looking over. Jumps into the dojo. Gonna go train against its Tauros. Camp and eating some soup. And we see um, Staryu and Starmie. I'm really excited for those two Pokemon. Big Psychic, big Water fan. So this is where Kubfu evolves into Urshifu. It is single strike Urshifu and multi strike Urshifu. Um, you see both of the arts here on the left and the right. Each Urshifu gets special um, moves. So here they're Dynamax, but let's say they're not Dynamax. One uh, gets Wicked Blow, and then the other one gets Surging Strikes. They both ignore the stat changes, and the ability of Urshifu is. Um, his ability is called Unseen Fist, and Physical Strikes actually ignore Protect. So, if you plan on using Protect on this Pokemon, like Toxic Stallout, uh, maybe think again, because he's going to be able to break through it. I'm really excited for this Pokemon, and I've been asking, been wondering, if they're going to bring a Pokemon that can break through true barriers, like G-Max Pokemon or Dynamax moves can do that. Uh, if you have an Infiltrator, it can break through like screens and reflex and stuff like that. But um, very rarely do you get Pokemon that can break through Protect. So we get another one here. And then we get some information here on the Crown Tundra. Slightly going to touch on it. Um, I don't know the name of this Pokemon. Big bot move there. See some Frost Moths. Um, this tree that it showed us a couple times, the big cherry tree with some white on the top and like this red ornament, that's going to be very key. Here we see the Reggie, 
tombs. We also get two new Regis. We get Reggie Electri and uh, Reggie Drago. Going to be really cool. Bringing the total number of Regis to, I think, six. We also get Legendary Dens. You can see the Legendaries from all the different gens here. I don't know if all of them are included, but a vast majority of them are. You know, I didn't see any Rayquaza. Uh, we also get the Galarian Birds. I know many of the Galarian Birds... Or I can't say many, but uh, Zapdos is at least a fighting type. I know he's fighting Electric. That will be very interesting. We're going to go to the Pokemon website here in just a moment to get all the lowdown information. We're kind of just scanning through the video real quick, seeing what they have to show us. Uh, I'm happy to see a lot of these old names returning. Very glad about that. Very happy to see them. Uh, I'm excited to use Slow Bro and Slow King. Uh, just unfortunate that we have to wait until winter, basically, to use uh, Slow King. But that's okay. We also have to wait until winter to see um, the Regis and the Legendary Raids. So let's make sure to keep that in mind as well. Moving on to the Pokemon website. All right, now that we're at the Pokemon website, let's take a look at Urshifu. So explosive moves that only Legendary Pokemon Urshifu can learn. Single Strike, um, and then he's got the, the signature move, Wicked Blow. And then this is the Dark Typing form of Urshifu. We can also get a water type form of Urshifu. Um, he knows um, Surging Strikes. So he's like the multiple attacking Pokemon, whereas the Single Strike, you know, says by name, only hits one time. Probably the harder hitting of the two, whereas uh, Rapid Strike can probably break through um, things like Disguise, Ice Face, stuff like that. Whereas. This dude is probably going to be used to take down, um, I'd say, probably like Steel-type Pokemon with uh, with his fighting moves. I know he's going to be a Dark-type Pokemon, but I'm assuming he can learn um, some fighting moves, honestly. Uh, we get the Unseen Fist ability. I touched on that a little bit, where he can break through Protects. Um, he also ignores stat changes with his signature moves, so that's really cool. We take a look at Reggie Lecky. Um, you know, he kind of just is what he is. I'm assuming straight electric type. It looks like it. It's a straight electric type. Indeed. Uh, we don't really know too much about it, but he does have signature cage, a signature move. Thunder cage, sorry about that. Um, and this electrical type special move, the Pokemon fires furious bolts of electric electricity from its lower half, trapping opponents directly below it in a cage of lightning. Thunder Cage doesn't only deal damage to opponents when it lands, it will also cause them to be trapped within an electrified cage, causing damage every turn for 4-5 to five turns, preventing them from fleeing or being swapped out. So it's very similar to Whirlpool, uh, just the electric version of that. I think that's pretty sweet. I will most likely try this Pokemon out. Um, unfortunately, I can't use it in ladder. Let's take a look at Reggie Drago. So, straight dragon type. Um, let's see if he has a special move. He does. He does. The Pokemon assumes a shape similar to a dragon's head and then fires intense dragon energy from its mouth. The more HP the user has remaining, the higher the move's power. So, you definitely want to use this Pokemon uh, early on. It's going to do more damage the higher the HP of your opponent. Um, it looks dope. I think it looks really cool. I'm eager to see the news, like the lore behind this Pokemon, learn some story behind it. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm happy that they're adding some more Regis into the series again. We get the Gigantamax, Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Teleon. You can also get Hidden Ability, uh, Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Teleon with Pokemon Home right now. So make sure to do that. I will also put a video on how to do that very soon. Kalyrex, Psychic Grass type, uh, reminds me of Celebi. I honestly thought that it was gonna be like Psychic Ice or Ice Grass or or something like. We see a lot of Psychic Legendary Pokemon. To see another Psychic Grass type to me is kind of meh, especially since we're in the Crown Tundra. Tundra Ice. Why is it a Grass type? 
Shouldn't it be in Isle of Armor? I don't know. We don't have a lot of information on it. This is kind of just what we know so far. Height of 3 foot 7, 17 pounds, unnerved so you can't eat berries. Uh, category is the king Pokemon. We know that Venusaur and Blastoise are both going to get the moves that uh, deal damage after they've been used. Similar to G-Max Wildfire. Excited about that. Um, excited to see them become viable again. I wouldn't exactly say that, that they're the most viable in the ranked ladder this past season. So maybe with this expansion coming out, uh, G-Maxing them, making them a little bit better, could turn the tide. We'll take a quick look at uh, G-Max Blastoise because he's my boy. Pretty much the uh, you know same deal though. New new G-Max move. Uh, I don't think they're getting any new abilities. Kind of just just the move, making them look cool. Uh, kind of adding an extra spin on that nostalgia for us. Going to Galarian Slowbro. Um, he's got Quick Draw. We're not sure what that ability is yet. Um, he's a Poison Psychic type. He's a Poison Psychic type. He is no water. He is no longer water. Huge, huge. That's that's giant for us, chat. Um, now he is no longer super affected by Grass. I can't tell you how how awesome that is, man. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So, um, that's a big moment for me. Like, I can't wait now. I cannot wait. Valerian Slowbro's signature move is Shell Side Arm. Shell Side Arm is a poison type special attack, uh, which this move fires poisonous liquid from the tip of shelter attached to its arm. This move may poison the target. Moreover, it inflicts either physical or special damage, depending on which will damage the target more. So if you are unsure of which build your opponent has, and it is weak to uh, poison, or at least neutral, then this is the move for you. This is a move for me. Um, beat strong opponents to the draw. Although this Pokemon is normally zoned out, facing off against strong opponent, activates its stimulants in its body, sending them coursing through its nervous system, delivering a jolt. When this happens, Slowbro's expression sharpens with a speed that puts even the quickest reflexes to shame. Slowbro readies its shelter and makes poison liquid shoot from the shelter's tip. I don't know if somehow that makes the Pokemon faster. It kind of sounds like it does. Um, I'm kind of eager to see how this how this works. Maybe that's uh, the ability it has, right? If it senses that it's going against a Pokemon that's faster than it, maybe it speeds up. All right, cool. Um, let's move on to the Galarian starters, and we will be on our way. Galarian starter, or not starters, sorry. Uh, Galarian legendary birds. We got Galarian Articuno, uh, psychic flying this time around, so it loses its ice ability or its ice typing, gains psychic. I think that can be pretty fun. Galarian Articuno's signature move, Freezing Glare. Uh, Freezing Glare is a psychic type special move in which the Pokemon attacks by firing psychic power from both eyes. This move may leave the target frozen. So, it has ice coursing through its veins, but it's not considered an ice type Pokemon. Very interesting. That's cool. And it looks dope too. It might be my favorite out of the three. Um, Articuno is usually one of my favorites anyway. Close tie with Zapdos, though. This time, we get the Fighting Flying Chicken. Strong leg, Pokemon. Um, yeah, so it decided it wants to become a Dodo Bird. It learns Thunderous Kick. In this fighting type move, the Pokemon overwhelms the target with lightning movement before delivering a kick. This also lowers the target's defense stat. I think it would be cooler if it could paralyze the target, to be honest. Um, kind of the similar aspect where Articuno is no longer an ice type, but it has an ice move. We're no longer um, an electric Pokemon with Zapdos, but we have an electric move in our genetics. Cool. Neat. And I like that art, too. 
Looks like he just jumped super high and now he's coming to claw your face out. Finally, Galarian Moltres. Uh, we get the Dark Flying Pokemon. This might be the most interesting out of the bunch because Fighting is good against Dark. Bug is good against Dark, but not against Flying. So, uh, really the only thing that's going to be super effective here is Electricity. Oh, well. Le electricity, Ice, Rock, and then Fairy. So, I can't say only going to be affected, but those four types instead of six. We get a little bit of art here. We get Fiery Wrath as the Galarian Moltres' signature move. And this Dark type special move. Ooh. Hold on. This is interesting. Fiery Wrath is a Dark type special move. Transforms into Wrath like Fire Aurora to attack. And it may make the opposing Pokemon flinch. Could be interesting. Um, to my knowledge... I haven't seen Dynamax Pokemon flinch. I don't know if this will affect it. We will have to see. Um, but yeah, it, this could be an interesting matchup in casual battles for sure. All right, guys, that's what I know about Pokemon Sword and Shield's first expansion pass. That's what I know about the second expansion pass. It's not too much. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you very much. Make sure to hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. We go live every night at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time with some new Pokemon content. So make sure to check us out at twitch.tv forward slash pack And before we go, I got one thing I want to show you guys. I forgot to mention in the expansion we get G-Max Soup. When given to a Pokemon with potential, this soup will allow that Pokemon to G-Max. So for example, if I bring a Machamp over that is not G-Max, and I feed it the soup, it will now gain the ability to G-Max. I appreciate you guys for watching my video. Thank you very much. And until next time, peace out.